Thunder, the Native American warrior of the Nez Perce tribe, is a hard-hitting hybrid grappler with terrifying mix-ups. Once he's in your face, there are few right answers, and he can steal entire matches before you even know what hit you. <laughs> Let's start with the best part of any grappler's arsenal, the command grab. Thunder's Call of the Earth is a long-range, damaging grab that causes a hard knockdown. It's especially potent in tick-throw situations, and every time you land it, you can perform an extremely ambiguous set play using Thunder's beefy jumping heavy punch, empty jump lows, and more command grabs. But the real star of the show is Shadow Call of the Earth, a lightning-fast, half-screen grab that can't be jumped after the screen freeze. It deals 20% damage and allows for Thunder's choice of either a combo or set play. No matter how long you've played Killer Instinct, you'll never stop being shocked by the preposterous range on this move. Thunder is at his best when using his grab in conjunction with his other normals and specials to apply some of the scariest rushdown in the game. Hornbreaker is a fast two-hit overhead that easily connects from max grab range, while crouching medium kick and standing hard punch control lots of space and start combos with triple axe, Thunder's main combo starter, which itself is also a fantastic poking tool. Standing light kick is one of the best close range pester tools in the game, as it's plus on block and causes a flip out if you try to jump or grab. He can even avoid some counter pokes by using ankle slicer a low attack that itself crushes lows and often sways out of the way of opponent's offense. When outside grab range, you'll have to contest with Samamish, Thunder's main approach tool. It might look like a dragon punch, but the regular versions are not invincible like you'd expect. Instead, they're projectile invincible, and Thunder can follow up with three different unique attacks that either cause flip out, hard knockdown, or a ground bounce. In particular, watch out for the Skyfall follow-up, as it can be a fast surprise cross-up. All of these air attacks are very unsafe on block though, so punish Thunder accordingly if he gets impatient at the wrong time. As you might expect from a grappler, Thunder really hurts. Not only are many of his best normals heavy attacks, but his combo damage is also extremely high. Shadow Ankle Slicer punishes lockouts with high damage in a short time. And Shadow Call of the Earth Ender deals insane damage at level 4 and still gives Thunder opportunity for more offense. Thunder's Instinct grants him access to unlimited crow dashes. These supercharged dashes are strike invincible at the start, can pass through opponents, and can be cancelled from special moves. This includes the Skyfall follow-up from Samamish, which makes this mid-range option an even safer and scarier way to start Thunder's offense. When combined with Thunder's strong normals, special moves, and command grabs, defenders will have a brutal time surviving the onslaught. And like Saberwolf, Thunder can throw in mid-combo resets that are very hard to block. That is, if blocking even works in the first place. While Thunder's mix-ups are extremely strong, if the opponent does manage to make the correct read and defend, Thunder is usually left wide open for punishment. All versions of Call of the Earth can be punished if they're backdashed or jumped, and Hornbreaker or Triple Axe can be shadow countered on reaction if blocked. Watch especially for Triple Axe, which is Thunder's best combo starter off of many of his ranged pokes. Even in Instinct, Thunder carries some risk. Cancelling specials into dashes is very fast, but if the defender anticipates and tries to challenge after, Thunder will have to slow down or else get hit. Yeah. 
Thunder pays the price for his scary up-close offense by being a slow, big target while far away. His jump is high, floaty, and predictable, which makes anti-airing it easier, and his regular forward dash is pretty stubby. Aside from walking and blocking, he really only has two options for approaching keepaway characters. Samamish's projectile invincibility can sometimes help him get around, but it's not foolproof. If Thunder flies at you and you correctly block, you absolutely must punish him for high damage, or else he'll easily make up all the difference that one time he squeaks through. He can also use Call of the Sky, which grants him a one-time use invincible pro dash. He'll probably get hit trying to power up, but he gets to keep the dash if he summons the lightning. Just don't waste the dash when you get it. Thunder's main defensive tool is Shadow Samamish, an invincible reversal that costs important meter that he'd rather save for Shadow Call of the Earth. If you catch Thunder without meter, he only has a stubby backdash to help save him. Otherwise, he has to block out pressure. Be careful trying to bait Shadow Samamish by blocking, as belligerent Thunder players might just wake up with Shadow Grab to catch you walking away. You might want to look into other options that can evade both choices, like Backdash. If Thunder has a Crow Dash stalked by an Instinct or Call of the Sky, his wake up is a bit more explosive, so be careful. <laughs> So, to round up, you should play Thunder if throwing people from half screen gets you going, you love making people panic, and you want high damage off of every opening. And you should avoid Thunder if you don't like getting zoned out, you can't play patiently from full screen, and you want a reversal at all times and all situations. Thunder is recommended for those who can play patiently and methodically but also have a keen instinct for when to break the calm before the storm. You can learn more about Thunder and Killer Instinct at ki.infill.net. And a big thank you to Infill and Lemon for writing the script to this video, as well as Mecha Mech and Sun Goki for helping me to record this footage. If you're ever in Thailand, be sure to check out their Smash Brothers and Soul Calibur tournaments. Links are in the description. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, you. Without your support, these videos would simply not be possible. So if you'd like to see more, please consider supporting us. For just $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive, beautifully put together PDFs of our guides. This month, a special thank you to Anglo Caesar, Inia Spooner, and Alexander Baumgarten. Stay tuned for more Killer Instinct. Up next is Sidera. Yinditon Rapsuebkong Chan. <laughs>